The top players in the world are currently protesting. If you look at the number one to number five player, you're gonna see they're all in the same clan. Fix your game. And it doesn't stop at them. As you keep going down, you're gonna see there's quite a few more people in this clan. And in fact, if you go ahead and look at the top clans in the world, the number one and the number two clan are both named Fix Your Game. Now, in this video, I'm going to explain why we started this protest, what the problems are, and how I think they could be fixed. This whole problem has been around since last season. Essentially, some people are doing way more attacks than they're taking defenses. I'm having the problem right now. I had a video on this at the very beginning of the season, but it's only gotten worse. I think they tried to fix it earlier in the season, and they ended up making it way worse. If you look at the clan description, it pretty much explains everything. This game is broken. We can take 1,000 defenses while other people take zero. We can be attacked by members of our own clan. It's unfair and it's ruining our experience. We will not tolerate it much longer. Justice for Psychopath. Now I'm sure you're wondering, who is Psychopath? Psychopath was a top player. He reached 9,000 trophies this season, only to be dropped all the way to 24 trophies. Now currently he's at 300 trophies, but to this day he is still getting defenses. Now this all started after he did a push and did roughly 50 attacks without defenses. And eventually the defenses caught up to him, but they never ended up stopping. He started dropping about 6 days ago and to this day he still gets attacked about 100 times. And to this day, he's still getting attacked about 50 times per day. And he's not just getting attacked by some lower leveled people, he's getting attacked by the top players right now. People from 9,000 trophies and above are attacking him, and whenever he goes to queue up into a new game, he is as well facing people at 9,000 trophies. Even though he's at 300 trophies, he's still facing the top players, he's still getting attacked by the top players, but to make it worse, whenever he does a successful attack, the most amount of trophies he can earn are three. He can earn three trophies from a 6 star. That is because he is so low in the league that it's nearly impossible to push back up. So even if he were to sit there for around 10 hours pushing all the way back up getting 3 trophies per match, he's going to get dropped all the way back down to 24 trophies because he is still taking defenses. And he's tried to reach out to Supercell support about this, but all he gets in response are pre-written messages that have nothing to do with what he's asking him. And these responses are absolutely terrible, and a lot of the responses he's gotten, they're talking about the home village, the complete other their village. I mean, it's almost as if Supercell is choosing to ignore him. He asks for help, he sends the evidence, they respond with something about the home village, and they close the chat. He's making no progress even after six days of asking for help. And this issue isn't just happening with Psychopath, he is just the one who it happened to the worst. Another player it's happened to is someone named Mix Taha. He was at 10,000 trophies and just dropped all the way to 776. Another player it happened to was FJB, I have a screenshot of him here, and he was at roughly 9,000 trophies, dropped to 2,000 trophies. Another person it happened to was Spaceman, yet again dropping all the way to 24 trophies. Now I'm going to show you some screenshots, and let me explain them for you. In this screenshot, you can see that Psychopath is at 24 trophies, and even still he is getting attacked by people like Noah and Red Hunter, who are at 9,000 trophies, and you'll see he's no longer even losing trophies for being attacked, but it doesn't matter because if he pushes up high enough, such as like 100 trophies, he's going to start losing them yet again. Yet again, we have another photo of someone this happened to, Turkman Oglu, who dropped all the way to 24 trophies from 8,500. Here's a photo from Spaceman Andrew, he's at 2,700 trophies and he's getting attacked by three people at once, Bazooka, Chief Brew, and Cole, who are all top players at roughly, I don't know, 8,000 trophies, and they're still attacking him. Here we see FJB, who was number one in the entire world, who then got dropped all the way down to 2,600 trophies. So as you can see from all these screenshots, this isn't just happening to one unlucky person. So as you can see from all these screenshots, this isn't just happening to one unlucky person, this is happening to numerous people and it's absolutely ruining their season, ruining their experience, and making them want to quit the game. But that's just one side of the bug. Right now, I'm experiencing the other side of the bug. I'm taking no defenses. And yes, that does allow me to push up to some absolutely crazy numbers such as 10,900, but it does have one nasty side effect. Whenever you go to try and find a match, it just does not let you. And I mean, if you think about it, it makes sense. If you're not taking defenses, you should not be doing any attacks, but it also completely ruins your playtime. If you sit here long enough, you are going to find a match, but that wastes so much time, you're just sitting here staring at these clouds, and you're doing absolutely nothing. So a lot of players are just kind of at a standstill, sitting here hoping they either find a match or take their defenses, but 
also hoping they aren't going to take astronomically more defenses than they're supposed to. And that is why you see, for one, so many people above 10,000 trophies, and two, why so many people are upset about the game. They want to be able to attack, but they don't want to have to worry about going all the way down to zero trophies. But in addition, that's not even all of the bugs. You can attack your own clanmates. Occasionally, you'll be matched up against someone from your own clan, which is both unfair to them, but not even fun. You, no one wants to attack their own clanmates. They feel bad. They don't want to take their trophies, but if they do a bad attack, then they're going to lose trophies. No one wins in that situation. But we're not done yet. In addition to some people taking thousands of defenses, some people are just taking a few extra each day, which doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but it is a huge, huge disadvantage. Let me read you some DMs between me and Heron. Let me use Heron as an example. Heron is a veteran player. I've had him on the channel, he's a great attacker, a great base builder, but he is taking about 4-6 to six extra defenses each day, which can be at most 350 trophies deducted from him, even if he does all 6 stars, he can still lose trophies. Here's a quote from him, I'll probably quit tomorrow, it's just not worth that stress, it's completely unfair to play with a 4-7 to seven game deficit every day against players who can also 6 star. A couple days later, he DM'd me telling me that he had now taken 15 extra defenses for the day. Now, the way he knows this is he keeps a spreadsheet on all his attacks, all his defenses, so we can kind of see how he's doing. But at this point, it's just been a spreadsheet to see how badly he is getting cheated out of trophies. You can see on this side he has his attacks, and on this side he has his defenses. And they are astronomically more than his attacks. I mean, from one you can see over here, I attacked him and got 15 trophies. And a lot of people are failing against him. He is a great base builder. But you can also see... He has only done four attacks and he has taken so many more defenses. And immediately after that, he DM'd me saying it's at 16 now. And that's just one example of a player taking extra defenses. There are far, far more. There are so many players, for one, taking extra defenses, two, getting sent down to zero trophies, and three, not being able to find attacks because they're taking no defenses. The whole leaderboard system is messed up, and the builder base community as a whole has united, trying to send Supercell a message, hoping it'll get fixed by the next season. That is why you see that two of the top ten clans in the world in the builder base are named Fix Your Game. And guys, it's not going to stop there. Tomorrow there are going to be even more clans in the top world named Fix Your Game because the top players so desperately want to send Supercell this message, but there's little to no hope that there's going to be a fix anytime soon. July is the holiday month for Supercell and typically they don't do any work, which means we are probably going to see all of these issues repeated in this next season. And a lot of people are considering quitting because they do not want to have to deal with this for another season. Between at the beginning there being Builder Hall 7s in the top 20 of the world, to now there being Builder Hall 10s who are maxed out great attackers being at 24 trophies. This isn't a protest out of anger at Supercell, this is a protest pleading for Supercell to please make a change to the builder base matchmaking system before you go onto your holiday, before we have to deal with this for a whole nother month. We don't want to have to be worried about taking thousands of defenses, we don't want to have to be worried about taking no defenses and getting no attacks as a result. We don't want to see how far we can break the system because honestly it's not fun at this point. We are attacking the same people over and over again, absolutely farming them. They're getting sent down to 24 trophies, we're getting sent up, and then you never know if it's going to be you next getting sent all the way down. This is not fun. The attacking system is great, but the matchmaking system is so terrible. But now, how can we fix this? I mean, obviously, if you were a top player in the beginning of the builder base update, you know it kind of used to be a bit worse. The defenses and attacks were equal, but in order to get that, you had to sit in clouds for roughly 20 minutes for one attack. That was objectively worse. So it seems like they tried to fix that and then made this system, which is also nearly just as bad. So how can it be fixed? Well, here's a suggestion that was made by Blueprint Clashes Hooked. I was in a clan with him last night. He was doing a video on me. He as well is touching on some of these issues plaguing the builder base. And he told me that what he thinks could actually make this system a lot better is implementing a system that is extremely similar to the Legends League. I've considered this idea in the past, but I thought it would be pretty unfun. You only get a limited amount of attacks per day, and then you're just going to be sitting there not getting attacks anyway. It's the same problem, just not as bad. But he kind of added a detail to it that I thought was pretty interesting. Essentially, similar to Clash Royale, once you reach 5,000 trophies, you get two options, ranked 
and casual. Now in the casual, you can attack as much as you want. I don't really know the logistics of what he wanted if you would take defenses too. I think it would be fun to kind of still take defenses, although we might run into the same issues we have now, but you can basically attack as much as you want. But in the ranked version, you only get a limited amount of attacks per day. Now I don't really know how many attacks you should get per day, whether it should be 8 like the normal Legends League system, or maybe 16, or something a little bit higher, but that would solve a couple of problems. For one, it would be way easier to keep track of how many attacks you've done and how many defenses you need to take. Two, it would stop the huge issue of bases being absolutely obliterated overnight because the same people are matching up against it over and over again. Three, it would fix the leaderboards, that way there aren't so many people at 11,000 trophies who are just sitting there because they're taking no defenses. And four, it would make the leaderboards a lot more fair because it won't just be a competition of who has the most time to play. Now, I really, really kind of like the idea, I feel like it needs to be thought out a lot by people who are much more knowledgeable than me, but I think that could solve quite a few of the issues we are facing right now. But regardless of what system they use to fix these massive issues, I just hope it gets fixed soon because no one, and I mean absolutely no one, wants to deal with this the next season. In fact, this only started earlier today. Sophie Gerard made their own clan, Team Germany, and they were going to push it to the top of the builder base, but then we reached out to them. We asked them if they would be willing to take a pause for a season to kind of try and send Supercell a message, and everybody agreed. The entire builder base top pushing community is united in this issue we want it to be resolved as soon as possible and we're not going to be able to tolerate it much longer it is almost near unplayable supercell this is a cry for help please fix this